I don't think anyone realized that when they started this what they had really let loose. Of course, the Idaho Daily Statesman, which was a newspaper at the time, just embellished this to a great degree. They made out like there was a sex ring. Melvin Durr was shocked by the life sentence. He was a popular character on and off the stage. He directed or acted in numerous plays for the Boise Little Theater. He shared his story in a 1973 audio recording. Well, I knew other gay people in Boise, yeah. friends that I'd known all my life since I was in high school, junior high school. Mm -hmm. Actually, the life there was rather restricted as far as gay life was concerned. There was a lot more gay life going on in Boise than I thought, per se, because as it developed, once all this scandal broke, there were a lot of gay husbands living in Boise who were running around on the side. I found out years later that my dad had uh, practiced homosexuality in the uh, Boise community. Alti's father was living a secret life. You know, homosexuality was something that was studied maybe by psychiatrists or something, and it was it, 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 it didn't happen in these communities. You know, it just I don't think they could accept that that anybody would be that way because it, it didn't conform to what the 1950s code of ethics were.